This video covers how I integrated the RF kit RF2KS into my ICOM 7300 DX Commander S9 rig. To do this, you're going to need three cables. A PPT cable, which is an RCA cable that goes from the 7300 to the RF2KS. A CIV to serial cable that goes from the IC7300 using a 3.5 millimeter jack to a USB port on the back of the RF2KS. Then you'll need an additional feed line to go from the IC7300 to the input of the RF2KS. Looking at how to connect these, let's start with the IC7300. Here you have the feed line that would be coming from your antenna. You'll need to disconnect this and add a new feed line that's going to go from the 7300 to the RF2KS. Then on the upper right you have a CAT cable which is 3.5 millimeters on the IC7300 and a USB port on the RF2KS. Finally, towards the bottom, you have the push to talk, which is an RCA to RCA between the IC7300 and the RF2KS. Over on the RF2KS, you have the input, which is coming from the 7300, and then I would move my connection to the antenna from the 7300 to, in this case, antenna 1 of the RF2KS. Then towards the middle, you have the USB connector. That's where the CAT cable goes. And then finally, at the bottom, you have the push to talk, which is an RCA to RCA connector. On the ICOM IC7300, you start by pushing the menu button in the lower left. Then on menu, you select set. You go to the set menu and select connectors. In connectors, go down to the third page and push CI-V. On the first page of CI-V, select the CI-V baud rate. In my case, I set it to 19200. Now, you'll notice that on the second page of CI-V, there is also another one that says CIV dash USB baud rate. This is the USB to USB connection between your ICOM and your computer, not to the RF2KS. These settings are common across the modern ICOM line. Moving over to the RF2KS, start by selecting menu towards the bottom of the main screen. This will take you to a tabbed page where you select interface. Interface brings up a submenu where you select the radio key called CAT. Select the CAT tab and enter ICOM, IC7300, and then most critically, the baud rate that we have selected previously, which in my case is the 19200. Click Test. If you have it all connected correctly, it will show you the currently selected frequency on the ICOM 7300. Click Save, click Antennas, and in my case, I have my Signature 9 into the port 1 antenna, and I select all of the bands that it will be covering. I click Save. Back on Settings, I verify that I am going to be transmitting, because I have one antenna, only on the 10 through 40 meter bands, and then I close. Back on the main menu, I would select my DXS9 output which is on the lower left. The top band will by default be a scale of 160 when it's in standby. Once you press the standby button and go to operate, it will change green and the scale will change again. Then when you transmit, you'll see the forward scale move across indicating that it is transmitting. If this is all going on, you're good to go. This is N6HWW, wishing you 73.